welcome back to Angel's Light to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for September the 20th through September the 26th. And without further ado, we're getting right into your lover bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. What's the energy around the lovebirds? The energy around the lovebirds. Thank you. We have abundance and Oh, courage, young heart, stand tall. Don't let the love decrease. You are a warrior of peace. Whatever is going on in your relationship this week, tap into that abundance of love that you two share this week. You can do it because there's nothing but love there. All right, now let's move on to, yes, don't let those little little teeny little disagreements yeah just tap into the love like yeah you know what i love him right all right her love him or her right all right now let's move into yes 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 positive energy high vibrations for single leos what's going on with single leos hmm we're looking for some joy yes we are thank you thank you thank you we have distorted masculine and trust yes breathe in breathe out let go of doubt okay singles you know this person that you have your eye on you know you know they're not to be trusted right trust trust that you know that if it doesn't feel right if it barks like a dog it's a dog if it quacks like a duck it's a duck whatever don't don't let your lion eyes fool you okay yeah, it's not. Yeah, trust that your intuition is spot on, okay? All right, now, sometimes we, we, we meet people and we think, oh, they could be, or they can, they can, like, you see a person's potential. Eh, not so much, okay? All right, let's move on to, yes, 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 positive energy, high vibrations for lovely, lovely Lovely, lovely Leo. Angels, we're looking for some joy for lovely Leo. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. High, vib high vibrations, please. Thank you for, thank you for lovely Leo. Moving on to my mama's deck. Thank you, angels. We're looking for some positive energy for lovely Leo. And, hmm. <laughs> let's add let's add one from the dragon's deck to get the positive energy from the and remember remember the dragon's deck is always always red right side up to get the highest vibration thank you from for your message thank you and thank you angels high vibrations please thank you and we're gonna add one you're like don't you dare add another deck just one just a spiritual deck to see the spiritual me message for the week and that is ready grace have grace everything with honor everything with dignity this week now let's move on to your major theme for the week and that is the chariot card reversed with the seven of hearts shine yes the joker and the ace of spades so i'm here to tell you <laughs> the chariot card there is something coming towards you this week with the seven of hearts it doesn't feel like on the onset that it's going to be a positive experience but even though don't let them see don't don't let them know i feel like don't let them know that it's almost like don't don't let them see you sweat. Don't let them see you cry. You know, things of that nature. B, I feel like with the with the Joker card, there's something coming out of this that's going to create something new. I feel like when you don't appear, and I don't want to use the word weak, but when you don't appear like they've gotten to you, they've um, really tapped into your emotion. Yeah, if you remain calm, cool, and collective, something definitely new is going to come out of this. It's going to be shocking, okay? But trust me when I say this, don't let them see you sweat, all right? Now, that is the major theme here. So initially, initially, it feels like, mm, this isn't feeling so great. What's coming towards me? I don't like this. But stand tall stand yes proud right? and i feel like things are going to shift instantly because they can't 
they can't penetrate your wall. Okay, all right. So then there is going to be something new from that. Now, and you're also going to realize how strong you really are, okay? All right, now, let's take a peek at your recent past. You have the Eight of Swords revert. Nope. The Eight of Swords with the Two of Spades. The Grace card, there you go, there you go, with the Eight of Hearts and the Ten of Clubs. It seems like you've been graceful for quite some time. Now, in the recent past, with the Eight of Swords, there was an element in the recent past that you felt that you were stuck in, yeah, and it was some kind of partnership. It may, it may have been a job, it may have been a contract with a business, or it could just be with a friend or a partner. I I feel like you, even though you felt stuck in this, I feel like you were still graceful in this, but sometimes you weren't so much with the eight of hearts. There was sometimes you felt like, you know what, with the ten of clubs, there is something about that in the recent past that you felt like, you know what, I was, I'm better than them anyway. <laughs> I'm going to leave it just like that. All right. Now, now if that is not you, that's someone in your sphere. Okay. And I feel like whoever it was made anyone in that area very much aware of that, that they were um, almost like, hmm, shame on you for thinking that I was going to stay there or I was going to stay in that situation. It could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be a house, whatever it was. I feel like you kind of Pulled your way out of that like you weren't stuck anymore. No, in the that was in the recent past. Now, in the middle of the week, we have the temperance card reversed with the jack of hearts, child alike, the ten of diamonds, yeah, uh -huh, with the jack of hearts. So in the middle of the week, with the temperance card reversed, I see you being impatient. Yes, you are. You're having to make a sacrifice, and boy, you're stamping your feet. You're like, I don't want to, I don't want to be patient. The Ten of Diamonds, there is abundance coming to you, but with the Jack of Hearts, you got to be patient. You got to wait. And you're like, I don't want to pay. I don't want to be wait. I don't want to. I don't want to wait, Dora. I don't want to wait. But the abundance is coming. Just be patient. All right. Now, when and now that abundance is what you attach your values to. It could be money. It could be a relationship. It could be love. It could be time spent. Whatever you attach your values to, you are going to get it. No, but you got to be patient. No, by the end of the week, we have, ooh, the, we have the six, the six of cups with the nine of diamonds, illusions, the two of hearts, and the nine of clubs. So by the end of the week, I see a return of emotions. It may even be a return of someone that you previously knew, all right? Someone that you previously knew and let go of, right? With the illusion, I feel like with the two of hearts and the nine of clubs, I feel like you kind of knew they were coming back. Yeah, you did. And this could be a love relationship coming back from the past. This could be a job coming back from the past. Um, apply it to your life as it fits. But I feel like why do I feel like whomever this is or whatever this is that's coming back from the past that you really don't want it? I feel like you really don't want it. Um, almost like, oh, don't. it's almost like don't fool yourself, right? Don't fool yourself. You, um, they're coming back. You think that you're going to let them go. It's going to, you know what, let's put it this way. They're going to hang around for a bit. Or this, this whatever the situation that's coming back, it's going to hang around for a bit until you decide whether you want to keep it or whether you don't want to keep it. It's totally up to you. Now, let's take a peek at your bonus, at your bonus, with the three of swords reversed, with the seven of wands reversed, the three of spades support, Ace of Diamonds and the Ace of Hearts. So I'm picking up here. You're starting to get over something. Mm -hmm. You're starting to get over something. Like really over something. You don't even want to fight anymore. You're just like, no, I'm, I'm done with that. The Three of Spades. I feel like you're, you are still conflicted here. And you may need to reach out and talk to someone in reference to that, that, that thing you feel conflicted on. Because really in all actuality... For some of you, it has something to do with a new beginning in money. And some of you, it's a new beginning in love. 
I kind of am picking up here, whoever this is that's coming back into your world, it feels like you're real, you really, you really feel like they're coming back in to do the same thing they did before. Whether this is a job, whether this is a love relationship, because apply it, right, as it fits. I feel like really this has to do with you. This has to do with your values and this has to do with you in, in general. You, I feel like this is a decision making week. You will make the decision what is best for you, what is best for you, not whomever or whatever is coming back into your world because I feel like, um, why do I feel like you going back in this situation is taking something from you? Um, you know, I just get, don't let them see you sweat. Don't let them see you sweat. Don't make a decision. Don't make a quick decision, right? I feel like don't make a quick decision. I feel like um, new beginnings are on their way to you. Surprisingly, new beginnings are on their way to you. And I feel like, why do I feel like they think that they're getting to you. They're, they're tapping into your um, feelings and things of that nature. But you're showing them that you're not, mm, you're not the same person that you were when that person left or that job left. You're not the same person. And you're, if you accept this energy back into your world, it's kind of going to be your way um, because you're not letting them see you sweat. They don't know the inside. You're like, well, yeah, I want that job back, or, or yeah, I want that relationship back, but you're not, you're not showing that. You're not putting your cards on the table, and that is actually giving you the advantage here, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.